Hello everybody and welcome back to Endzone. Good of you to join, have a cup of coffee, sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. In this episode we're going to have our first drought um, that is happening soon. We also got a few more children in here and since all of my basic industrial buildings are working now, so my forester, my wells for the water supply and my scrapyard, so as we can see our basic resources are coming in, food supply is also looking fine. What we want to do now is expansion, so I'm going to assign another one to the builder, we have now two builders active, and continue, we need recyclers. Those recyclers will then get us the cloth, metal and plastic out of our scrap that we have. So three of them we need for now, later we can have a refinery once we research that, and you know the refinery takes care of all of that in one building, for now it's necessary that we have a couple of them. So I'm going to have three of them and they're going to be right here by the um, scrapyard that we have there. Also, I'm going to have another road then. First of all, we, uh, we have the storehouse. Here we can continue with the, wood, uh, with the road then. Right, I would like to keep this as a main road and here we can then add, for example, what we still also need then is the workshop rather sooner than later. This will add us then giving us some tools that we need. Does it reduce attractiveness? Yes, it does by two. And the tailor workshop we will also need soon then. This one is making us some protection against radiation. Those things are being built. Let's just see two builders we have. Um, yeah, it takes a bit of time before we get new adults. So we are not in that much of a hurry to build these buildings up there. But it's happening rather quickly <laughs> once we have the resources because there in the storehouse we have the scrap and the wood stored right so if we build anything here it's really quickly people can just take it from there without having to go to the bus there all the time and another recycler is coming up as well um this one here i can now say focus on cloth this one here um once it's built focus on metal and this one here will then focus on the plastic so that we have all three of them coming in Hmm, I think for the Forester Lodge now, also re uh, reforest there the forest that we have, because wood is in here anyway, and yeah, actually that's it, because the builders still need to build. We could add, can we do that? Yeah, a workshop right here in the center, it's a good thing for the tools. There we have the workshop and a tailor does the tailor reduce attractiveness also the tailor is doing that all right i guess that's it then um costing me a lot of scraps there. oh the tailor costs some cloth there as well so before we can build that we don't need the first stuff yeah and the workshop costs some metal so the charcoal kill that is something we can build though and that is something we need as well and it's very dirty building so let's place it as far away as possible just out here and this will produce us some coal that we're going to need as well. Let's just add the road then here. That's proper. Some more children are coming up. Very good. Water supply. Hmm. 700. I think it's going down there a bit. We might also um, plan ahead there. And for the first time now, give us something new for the water. And that is a um, cistern. So with this, we can get water from the, the lake. For that, we do need a chatty, however. So this building here as well. A boardwalk kind of. Um, that we have then out here and a cistern right next to it and this is producing some water for us then a lot of water I should say but it costs five work people right there we have then this building and we might also as well just squeeze in or try to squeeze in another well then here uh, efficiency is 100% in this area so that is fine too and a water tower Right, so the water tower will then store more water for us, but that is something for later. Let's just have these buildings here and also have a, yeah, a road, but from where? I guess here or here we have actually something that we can do. All right, wait a second. Let's get rid of that again. I'm not a bit, not too happy there about my road layout then. Right, so there we have the the road still going down so now I can have the cistern next to it like so perhaps I can squeeze in even a weld in here as well nah that's not that's not looking good so that is not working unfortunately 
I would have loved to have a well there, but it's fine. We can have that here. And the water tower is also not fitting in. No bad planning then. You know what? Let's just get rid of the tailor there as well. For now, I don't need them anyway. And just build the sister and the jetty. And we'll just decide later then. Um, yeah, as we can see, these buildings are coming up. We haven't gotten any new adults though yet. So I still need to wait for that. Drought happens in one day. And yeah, we have a few settlers without protective clothing now. Um, problem is, oh well, the good thing is we don't have any radiation in the town. But that is something we need to do ASAP as well. So what is happening? What is what is slowing it down at the moment? No, this is wood scrap. That is, of course, metal. This should be buildable then as well. How's the children looking? Uh, still taking time, but we should be getting then five adults right away. Soon. And then we have the buildings ready for them. Oh, and we're also getting a quest here. Many of our settlers are forced to move across this wasteland unprotected. We should boost our production of protective clothing. And the first quest, build a tailor's shop and activate the carbon mask produce. We get five activated um, carbon masks there as a reward. So that's a side task that is happening. We're getting various of these tasks over time and some of them can be quite tricky. All right, let's actually, yeah, there's the chatty being built now, as we can see, finished. Looks beautiful, very detailed. And once the cistern is being built, I can then reassign the builders to the refiners. Right, food is fine. Water is actually not that bad at the moment. And after a bit of time, the cistern is also coming up now. Very important building for later. So once the water supply drops too low, this can kind of be like an emergency building. I can assign um, five water carriers right away to it and they would get me a lot of water in short time. Right, so um, the workshop we don't need any at the moment anyway. So let's get rid of the two buildings here and assign them. One of them can be the charcoal burner now that we have up here. So this building is now generating coal for us, or, well, creating coal for us. And the other one is going to be a refiner. He's working now here, getting us the cloth that we need for the tailor. Um, what is happening with my children? Yeah, really soon we should get now a lot of adults coming in. This one here is going for plastic, this recycler, this one is metal, and this one is cloth. And it's drought day as well. Um, and as we can see what is happening here, the water is gone from the lake. So my fisher is at the moment not producing any food. So I'm going to reassign the fisher here two of them to the gatherers because the gatherers produce a good amount of food there for me let's move them a bit further over here and i will also build for this case and for the future case of course a hunter so we do have a lot of game down here right let's have our hunter there just beside the the gatherer and let's also have a road then from these buildings it's a good thing it's close to the, the settlement itself because those buildings produce food and the food can then be transported right to the bus rack. This one here, the store room, cannot um, house any water, for example. What is happening? Those children really don't want to grow up. All right, and with the drought, it's very good that we have three wells because they can produce even through the drought and we cannot do that with uh, a cistern, for example. All right, we got 15 children, by the way. That's a lot. My scraps is full. It's, they're taking their time there to grow adults. Seriously, they don't want to work. And it should happen anytime soon because we can't do anything else while they are... Yeah, children. All right, there is now a few of them coming in. 17, I'm going to assign them right away to the refiners. All right, so all the three re refiners here are working now. So they're consuming a bit of scrap now and produce other things. Another turned adult, this one can be a builder for now because we still need to build now the roads here and the hunting cabin down here. And it's a good thing that we have a bit more food, so over 1,000, because the fisher hut is still not producing anything. But the day is over, the drought is over, it should be raining soon, and then the lake fills up again with a bit of water there, hopefully. Hopefully. 
And as we can see, they are now working there. Going through the scrap. And the first cloth is coming in very good. That means we can have our tailor now soon. Um, we get two more adults there. We have 20 of them. Might be a good thing to now go for the tailor workshop as well. Now we have the cloth. And let's just see. Yeah, it's a problem there with that space here. Let's have the tailor workshop like so. Consuming the maximum amount of space that we need here. There we have the cistern. I will still need a well here then and a water tower. But that's for later. These buildings are important. Let's assign them to builders there. Right, and also the workshop gets the first metal now. Because we are getting the first metal from our refiners. And I don't need that many scrap collectors. Let's put it down to one. And assign him to a builder there as well so we can speed it up. Right, and also the water is back. The hunter, hunter lodge is there as well now. Let's reassign the workspace to this area. And the gatherer, is it not working? Needs berries or mushrooms? Oh, there's nothing in the surrounding. Did it destroy all the bushes? There's nothing anywhere. Okay, I think it needs to grow back because of the drought. We might have lost these things. I guess so. Let's put them back on Fisher. And two gatherers, two hunters. Right, because hunting game is possible at the moment. Gathering. Ah, yeah, there's the bushes now coming back again. So the gatherer has now, as we can see, it's coming back online here. Has the food supply as well. Taylor has been built. Very good. Activated carbon mask we juice. This consumes then um, two cloth and two coal. The next guard would be the basic one for two cloth. And the radiation suit is the best protection but requires also plastic. Um, before we do that, I'd rather go with the activated carbon mask. And I'm going to assign the first one to Taylor as well. Does this not finish my quest? No, I need to produce two before it gets completed. Uh, food is really going down there quickly at the moment. Let's get one more hunter up. So we got three hunters now. Scrap is really full. We don't even need... I don't think we need two scrap collectors. But I'm not that sure because we have two refiners now. So I don't want to, to overdo something there. The workshop is there now as well. So we can say, take for example the metal tool. This would consume then some metal. Um, and wood and scrap. Let's take the metal tools. They are more durable as well. And this is just right on time because look at that. We are down to one tool. Um, so we have the workshop now activated just in time. Let's take... Oh, task completed. Very good. It's sure thing that this new tailor shop will do a wonderful job. We've already started production. I'm proud to let you know that we've already achieved the preliminary figures achieved. Five carbon masks we get on top of it. So that we do have a bit of protection. And... Last tool is gone. We really do need a smith. Let's assign a scrap collector to the technician. Right. We're going to have two there, by the way. We can have two technicians and two tailors. Very important. And we're getting a new influx of adults now anyway. So they can all do this then. As we can see, there they are. Very good. Another tailor, another technician. So they are now producing that. So the next chain of productions is completely finished now. We produce all these basics. Um, a few more children are coming in and a lot of new adults soon. There they are. The next one. This guy, what can we use you for? We have a bit of coal, so I don't think we need that. Perhaps another builder. Yep. Because of what I want to do is, the happiness is dropping there a bit. Um, let's build a few more things in the city itself. First of all, some more shelters, obviously. This is important. Um... And let's have the shelters up here. Two more of them. Right, so there we will also need a road. Down here then the road. So we could have another block of houses here then as well. These two houses will be fine for now. Actually, we could continue here. And also our first community building, a campfire. So a campfire boosts the confidence of the people. And... Only costs wood as far as I know. Yep, 60 wood. It's a huge building, by the way. And yes, by the way, lots of these buildings are huge. The pub is pretty big too. 
The forum is amazing. What does the forum cost? A forum? Decrease can be imposed. All right. Let's have the campfire first, though. Where should we have our campfire? Close to the lake? Makes that sense. People can enjoy it out there or right here in the center. Let's have it right here in the center for now. We could also upgrade the bus wreckage. So it could store more stuff, but let's do that later. Um, campfire and the school would be important because children with education um, are educated faster and they work better, right? It's another huge building there. This might be an option. Scrap and wood, we have that. Let's build the campfire first though. This is where the community can meet each other. Um, settlers with no tools, but we have a few tools there. Should be fine. Let's have another scrap collector now. More adults are coming in. And perhaps... No, I think that's fine for now. We can have a builder, so these things are being built faster. The campfire. And yeah, actually, I'm inclined to go with the school. We might have the school here in the center somewhere. So that we get more children quicker. Let's have a road around it. Around the school then. And on the other side of the school, we could have some more housing. And there's the campfire. What is happening? Low water resource. All right, water is going down. Three wells are not doing it anymore. So in this case, it's good that we have the water carrier now because I can assign then one of these builders to a water carrier. And perhaps since we have still have enough scrap, I'm actually inclined to go with one scrap collector to water carrier too. So they're not they're doing nothing else now than taking water from the lake. And there's the school in all its glory. A really cool building. Huge building. Right in the center of my town. Um, does need though a teacher. And we could also then say here what the educational focus is for those guys here. For the children. Uh, for, for example, I could focus on productivity. So they would be more proficient. Um, handling tools. So that means lower consumption on tools. Handling clothing. And badges. They will be awarded more for their accomplishments. Let's go with productivity for now. Um, we do need a teacher. There we have it. One settler is now a teacher. And he is working here. And as we can see, oh, we got 10 children right in the class. Right? So 10 children are being educated right away. And this should boost stuff up then here. The protection cloth is really low still. So I don't know. We do probably need another tailor soon. High speed. Radiation looking, no radiation so far. More houses are coming up over here. And food is still fine. Water should be going up again. It is very good. I might then want to... Let's see, since we can build a few things for the water especially. Um, a water tower might be really, really important. So everything it's in its surroundings will take water. Um, or will store water in this water tower. Um, having it here makes sense because it still takes the well up here as well, as we can see. It takes this well, it takes the cistern, and we can still have another well then in here as well. So a lot of buildings that contribute to this water tower. Costs me quite a lot though. Let's get another charcoal builder up there, burner. Um, yeah, and with this, we can then also heat the water and filter it to get the radiation out of it later. That's why it's so important. Really happy about that school and that so many are in the school. That means adults will be coming in faster and they will be more productive. We have 28 adults now. Hmm, yeah, let's assign it to a builder right away. And we still have empty slot stuff for food production. So if the food is going down, I could still assign more people to it. Um, though what I can see now is the water is definitely going down, I think. Another drought. Yep, in four days. So I should definitely have some um, water stored then for this. Let's build another well. I could have another well here. It most likely yeah, will be then within its vicinity. There. And another well here. For that extra boost. So 
it's a lot of water buildings for this water tower and this is kind of like then also the the border between my settlement and the industrial district so here we can then have more houses and stuff like that hmm let's just see anything else the market is insane by the way so this is a building that we will place then here somewhere this is taking resources storing it and people can go there so once later we expand it to this side here um, people don't have to go all the way up here anymore they just have to go to the market to get their resources Alrighty, three more adults. We're growing quickly there. Let's have one more water carrier, one more gatherer, and one more scrap collector because scrap is really going down at the moment. There's another well now as well. Let's have one water carrier as a well keeper. And the water tower is being built very good. It's a huge building, the tallest one so far. And there it is, our well in all its glory, our water tower. And we can now say the water source here is from the jetty and from the wells, right? There's no filtration, filtration at the moment. This would consume coal, we don't have that much. And we don't have that much radiated water at the moment anyway. Um, so that's fine. And as we can see, the water is coming in now. It can store up to 90,000 water. That is a lot. 5,000 water, sorry. That is a lot. So all of these buildings now contribute to the tower here, as we can see. Okay, then wood adults coming up rather quickly. Let's have one more scrap collector and one more charcoal burner. We need more coal. Alright, day 13 is over, a new day is dawning, settlement is looking good, stay tuned.